Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, and today I'd like to talk to you about giving, and more specifically about cheerful giving. Um, we've had a gift day on Sunday at church. It was a really exciting and energising occasion, and we've been looking at 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9, where Paul gives some advice to the church in Corinth about how to give. And there's some great practical and logistical advice there, but also some wonderful theological nuggets. And one which stood out to me is uh, verse 12 of chapter 8, where Paul says, if the eagerness is there, the gift is acceptable. Which is interesting, isn't it? Because that implies that if eagerness is not part of the mix, um, if eagerness is not one of the ingredients of the giving, then then the gift becomes unacceptable, emptied of its value before God, because God looks at the heart, not just at the external experience. Paul goes on in uh, chapter 9, uh, verse 7, to say, Each of you should give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So often our, our giving is something we do reluctantly or under compulsion. We are pressurised into it by other people who know how to press our buttons. And those uh, dynamics of guilt and fear inside us cause us to give when really we don't want to give. And this passage is saying, well, God's not really interested in that. He, he's interested in your heart overflowing and choosing to give and to love. You know, this isn't just about financial giving this is about ministry in life you know giving willingly eagerly generously cheerfully i've been reading a great book recently called boundaries by um, henry cloud and john townsend over two million copies sold so you might have it on your shelf already and they say this in one part an internal no nullifies an external yes in other words if we say yes to god or anyone else when we really mean no we move into a position of compliance, and that is the same as lying. Our lips say yes, but our hearts, and often our half-hearted actions, say no. That's quite challenging for me, because I recognise that so often my acts, however loving they might seem externally, are actually coming from motives of fear, of guilt, of wanting to be accepted, and there's resentment in my heart, not love. Would you join me this week in analysing or examining the things that you say, you and I say yes to and saying, what's the driver here? Is it guilt and fear or is it overflow of love? And just presenting what we find to God and saying, Lord, help me to say no to that which I need to say no in order that I can say yes to the things you've called me to say yes to and so to grow in love.